Hello and welcome to Positive Scale, a podcast about mission-driven entrepreneurs, how they got to where they are, and the tactics they use to grow their business and social impact. I'm your host, Keith Saunders, and today we're talking to Hamilton Perkins, the founder and CEO of the Hamilton Perkins Collection, a company that makes affordable designer bags out of recycled bottles, billboard vinyl, and other sustainable material. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and your company? Well, Keith, you know my background a little bit, so you know, bear with me. Um, I worked in retail, so I was uh, you know, semi-merchant. I was working for uh, merchants. Um, I worked in apparel. I worked in sportswear, uh, footwear, eyewear, um, you know, sales, uh, buying. And I think after doing that for so long, I felt like I really hadn't seen any other industry. So what I did was I went to get a bird's eye view of the economy and I worked in finance for about six and a half years. Mm -hmm. I've always been interested in making things and creating things. I lived in a, you know, relatively creative household, I'd say. I mean, I'd have, uh, you know, different access to, um, you know, whether it was just art or, um, you know, just crafts. I think that was kind of something I did really early. Um, some early memories are, you know, definitely being entrepreneurial, um, having a locker decoration business in middle school. Um, you know, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about this locker decoration business. I had a what, locker what decoration like? business. So I used to take magazines and I would dissect the magazine pages and I would find the most attractive uh, pages and I would clip them out and I would sell them individually as locker decoration art and wow. you know I sort of had some kind of a you know early idea to do that I don't know what made me think to do that but I would go on to cut grass and you know sell lemonade and uh, mow lawns you know do all kind of, wash cars I mean I, I did it all and right. um, eventually worked in retail finished the retail uh, industry, you know, five year stint in that, and then went into finance and worked uh, in basically at each department that I could, you know, possibly work in. I worked in, I think like eight out of the 10 lines of businesses within a six and a half year period. Mm. Uh, I went back to business school. I got an MBA uh, over at William & Mary, um, you know, and I was throughout that process still making product and creating product um bags shirts apparel you know everything you know it's kind of been this this full journey where even if i wasn't doing it full time and i had a job i would do it it on the weekend or i'd do it at night mm -hmm. and um i think for me that's how i you know got to a point where you know i felt satisfied with the bird's eye view of the economy and seeing you know, multiple facets, you know, I guess of business and different operators and their styles and, um, you know, their, you know, outcome um, and their happiness even. And I think that's where, you know, I really just kind of got it straight in my mind that I want to be an operator. I want to mm -hmm. create, I want to make things. Um, and so, you know, it all started with a personal need. I needed a cool bag that I could be excited to carry and mm -hmm. be proud of. So I ended up making it for myself when I didn't find it mm -hmm. online or in stores. And 